the first and foremost test normally in your syllabus is Lucas reagent test. In Gothil, Lucas reagent is nothing but anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrated HCl. So, alcohols will give different reactions on reaction with Lucas reagent. So, Lucas reagent, as I told you, it is a mixture of anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrated hydrochloric acid. So, when treated with alcohol, you will get turbidity, the turbidity appearance, the rate of turbidity appearance decides what kind of alcohol you have taken. Suppose if the turbidity appears immediately, then the alcohol is taken as tertiary. If the turbidity appears after 5 minutes, then the alcohol taken as secondary alcohol. If the turbidity appears only upon eating or turbidity appears no, it, it won't appear in cold condition. If it appears only on eating, then it is primary alcohol. Remember, turbidity appears immediately, tertiary alcohol. Turbidity appears after 5 minutes, it is secondary alcohol or 2 degree alcohol. Turbidity appears only upon eating, it is said to be generally a primary alcohol. So, another way of uh, differentiation of primary, secondary from that of tertiary alcohol is by reaction with acidified potassium dichromate solution. So, primary, secondary alcohols will change the color from orange color to green color if it is primary and secondary alcohol. If it is tertiary alcohol, no color changes. So, Vidyarthi Mitra, Evo, important points, these are the important points under alcohols. You have to concentrate on these points. You will get questions based on this. And don't forget, there is another important reaction of alcohol called reaction with thionyl chloride, reaction with phosphorus halides. Reaction with thionyl chloride, nothing but Dawson's process in Gothi Deado. So, that is the best method for preparation of chloro uh, alkanes, nothing but alkyl chlorides because the product obtained is and uh, almost ultra pure condition. Therefore, that is the best method for preparation of alkyl chloride. In Gothirli, alcohols also react with phosphorus halides. Phosphorus pentahalides gives you corresponding alkyl halides. Even phosphorus trihalides also gives you corresponding halides. So, this note country nimge, alcohols ali yavde question bandhu kuda nivo crack maadu bodhu easy agi. Dear students, if you know these concepts what we discussed so far under alcohols, you can crack any questions. Now, let us see the important concepts of phenols. Phenols are the derivatives of benzene in which the OH could be directly bonded to benzene ring. So, phenols are derivatives of benzene in which the OH could be directly bonded to benzene. So, phenols also can be classified into various classes depending on number of OH group like monohydric phenols, dihydric phenols and trihydric phenols. Monohydric phenols and the phenols containing only one OH group, dihydric and the containing two OH group, trihydric and the containing three OH groups. So, then general methods of preparation of phenol, the first method of manufacture of phenol is by cumene process. In Gothirli, manufacture go preparation thumba difference here. Preparation and the obtained in small quantities in laboratories, manufacture obtained in large quantity in industries. Next, phenols. Phenols are aromatic alcohols where the OH group is directly bonded to benzene ring. Like we classified alcohols, phenols also can be classified into three different classes depending on number of OH group directly bonded to benzene ring. If the phenol containing only one OH group, it is called as monohydric. If the phenol containing two OH group, it is called dihydric. If the phenol containing 3 OH group, it is called as trihydric phenols. After learning the classification, let us talk about general methods of preparation of phenols and then manufacture of phenol. First of all, phenol is prepared from halobenzene like chlorobenzene by boiling with NaOH under pressure at a temperature of almost 300 degrees Celsius. The second method by fusing sodium benzene sulfonate with NaOH, you will get sodium phenate which upon acidification you get phenol. And third method is starting from diazonium salts. Say 
benzene diazonium chloride upon boiling with water you will get phenol nimge gottide how benzene diazonium chloride is obtained bdc or benzene diazonium chloride is obtained by a process called diazotization when primary aromatic amine is treated with ice cold solution of nano2 and dilute hcl diazotization take place forming diazonium salt like benzene diazonium chloride then after learning the preparation of phenols let us go on to the manufactures of phenol manufacture in the sense production of phenol in the large scale in industries the first method which is very important as per your syllabus is cumin process phenol is obtained by cumin process by the combination of benzene and propene or propylene you will get isopropyl benzene on reaction with benzene and propene isopropyl benzene obtained is called as cumin is called as cumin so cumin on oxidation you will get cumin hydroperoxide cumin process alli baro eradu product most important both the products obtained in cumin process are most important because the first product is phenol which we are interested and second product is acetone which is also most important product and therefore cumin process is very important idr mele im question baro chances irutte next is isolation of phenol from coal tar nimu gottide coal tar when subject for fractionation you will get different fractions of all the fraction the one fraction called mid loyal fraction which contains major amount of phenol so from that also phenol can be extracted or isolated after learning the few methods of preparation of phenol let us talk about properties of phenol first of all phenol is acidic in nature but not an acid remember phenol is acidic in nature but not an acid the proof for saying phenol is acidic in nature is this fin when phenol is made to react with naoh it neutralized with naoh forming sodium phenate and water this is a proof that phenol behaving as acidic compound why we are complaining that this is not behaving as acid to call any compound as acid it must decompose sodium bicarbonate or any bicarbonates and carbonate so since phenol is weaker than the carbonic acid since phenol is weaker than carbonic acid it is not able to decompose carbonates and bicarbonates therefore phenol is called as acidic compound but not an acid whose dissociation constant is very very small but of course phenols are strongly acidic when compared to alcohol 